the Armada is not a sea fight of the days of Nelson of fleet against fleet. It is essentially a Spanish version of, of D-Day. It's an amphibious invasion. Philip's plan was that he would send his fleet from Spain and Portugal, and he would then pick up an army in the Netherlands where his viceroy, the Duke of Parma, was going to assemble it, march it to the coast, embark it, and then they were going to come across the channel and invade England. It was a major battle between two great navies, bigger navies than any that Europe had seen before. The battle was very unsatisfactory to the Spaniards, who'd wanted to be able to use their grappling irons and, and have a man-to-man -man fights on the British, the English ships. But that didn't happen because of the English guns, which were, had a better range, longer range than the, than the Spanish ones. The English had more of them. The Spaniards lost uh, two or three big ships on their way up, but it wasn't a disaster and wasn't a serious setback. The Armada had actually held its, its position very well against all assault. They got to, to Calais still with their half moon in good shape. But this was the point at which the, the English, under the suggestion of Drake, in the night attacked the, the anchored Spanish fleet with fire ships, which they sent down among them. Well, this painting shows the fire ships which were uh, sent towards the Spanish fleet after a council of war. Eight small merchantmen were uh, stripped and uh, loaded with shot and gunpowder and floated in on the tide and the wind into the Spanish fleet. Uh, and this attack, of course, caused panic. Uh, and to get away from them, the Spaniards cut their cables uh, and, and moved off, which was the point the following day that the English attacked them in confusion and there was a great uh, melee of a sea fight. And that was a decisive battle. Uh, the Spanish realized that the game was up, um, although they weren't in any way um, too decimated at that point, and they drifted north. This was a huge fleet uh, battered by uh, a fight, a sea fight, um, had to make its way north round Scotland, and that, of course, is where the trouble really started for the Spaniards. They um, ran going round the north into serious uh, weather problems, slowly from the north of Scotland and particularly round onto the Irish coast, and big ships went down and big ships went ashore and many people drowned and they started to have major casualties. The defeat of the Armada it did mean that England was going to be independent of the new Catholic order which Philip II was trying to impose. We saw that failure as an act of God, and the Spanish also saw the fact that they failed as being an act of God. The defeat of the Spanish Armada um, is an extremely important event in history. Uh, many people don't think it was a defeat, that in fact it was the weather that defeated the Armada. But I rather think that uh, the English won on points, um, that uh, they actually succeeded in their objective, whereas the Spanish didn't. Mm -hmm.